All right. Ooh. Coming up on this episode of Sound Culture, we're going to be talking about Caribou, formerly known as Manitoba, now mm. known as Daphne, mm-hmm. and his album Not in Flames, which is the wrong one. Uh, we're talking about the milk of human kindness. I'm just going <laughs> to do that now. So, yeah, check it out. All right, back for another episode of Sound Culture. We're talking about Caribou. Yes. The milk of human kindness. Which is apparently a Macbeth quote. Yeah, yeah. He says it was a Macbeth quote, and, but he said, you know, I actually saw it on the back of a milk truck, and that's what inspired it. And oh, no. Keep talking about it. That's pretty me. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty cool way, pretty yeah. cool name. Yeah. It's, uh, it says a lot about uh, Dan Snaith as a musician, though, because I think yeah. what you'll find, at, well, what I discovered this listening to his music, he is a mathematician. Yeah, he's got a doctor in mathematics. You don't see that too often <laughs> with music. <laughs> no, but... Uh, as we've talked about behind the scenes before, um, mathematics is definitely part of music theory, and mm-hmm. there's definitely things you can do to create better arrangements of sound, and yeah, there's definitely yeah. things you can do to appeal to wider audiences or to mm-hmm. bring more tasteful audiences together. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a genre called math rock, and yeah. um, there's another band called Battles actually, who are known if you if you like math rock and you like this album. Uh, Check them out. They're a little rockier, but uh, mm-hmm. it's the same thing. They, they use mathematics and they use things called polyrhythms, and mm-hmm. they're thinking on the subliminal level, and, but everything they do is deliberate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I really like about this album is not only was it self-produced by Dan Snaith, mm-hmm. it was also made um, with the intent of him really trying to appeal to human emotions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So a lot of the songs are very... Like, there's ebbs and flows to it. I know that sounds kind of, like, hokey. But I just mean, <laughs> like, there's like there's mathematic principles which are demonstrated by the way that the songs are arranged. Mm-hmm. You listen to it, you will feel the feelings, whether or not you want to feel the feelings, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And yeah. I, I don't think you can put them in just one genre. And that's kind of one of the things I like about Caribou. Um, people have called them folktronica, <laughs> neo psychedelic. I've yeah. never heard of folktronica or heard of another band it's just that does it. Electronic music that's folk. Yeah, yeah, but it, uh, you know, I can kind of kind of see that. They they do a lot of interesting things with their um, uh, instrumentation and their and their instruments mm-hmm. as well. They use kind of weird. Th- they have singing bowls. They have guitar. They have bass. And they use and flutes and recorders. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they they have really cool effects too. They do this reverse delay effect in a couple of the albums and. You'll listen to it. There's, there's a lot of ambient parts, but there's also a lot of really good drum beats in between. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I particularly like the track Bees because it sounds like a... I don't know how to explain it other than the fact that it sounds like you're it in It sounds the air. like neo-psychedelic, totally. It, it sounds like you're... It sounds like Bees. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but seriously, though, there's the, he uses flutes and recorders in that track mm-hmm. and which are in wind instruments which I could I guess that's the analogy to be made here is that bees are in the air and <laughs> surrounded by wind and it's <laughs> it's very it's a theory it's like it's like the flight of the bumblebee I guess like if we're gonna mm. really compare it to classical music I think that's what I like about caribou mm-hmm, is mm-hmm. there's definitely allusions to classical music which has been proven to be um, mood lifting and mm-hmm. a lot of it was influenced by mathematics Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. and I gotta say, this music is—I mean, it's great for dancing, and it's a little bit different. I remember hearing uh, somebody do a whole video saying, "I took this album and went out to the forest and started dancing, and then I, I came up into this artistic <laughs> flow where you yeah. just leave your body and do all these things." And um, I, myself, I, I, I run quite a bit, and I've listened to this album quite a few times while I'm running because it's just got a good feel, and. and Puts me in my artistic flow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. No, but it does. It, it's it's very it's very inspiring in terms of its sort of it, what, everything that it, mm-hmm. it happens in it. Yeah, and it's different too. Like I was saying, you can't just put it into one category. Mm. It's, yeah, it's worth checking out. Mm-hmm. It's a it's an excellent album. Yeah, uh, you absolutely should listen to it. And I think, yeah, if you if you have listened to it before, it's great. It'd be a great refresher course. Oh on, yeah. On Caribou. All of their albums. Or I would Daphne every or one. Mantua. Mm-hmm. So that said, uh, yeah, it's a great album. And, oh, absolutely. Uh, if you like, if you like the video, please like and share, and even better, subscribe to the channel because we've got a lot more great reviews. And incidentally, we've been doing a lot of electronic album reviews. Yeah, so yeah. You should check out some of our other ones. Like we just did one on MGMT, and uh, we did another one on. Um, 
correct. What am I calling Crystal friend? Crystal Castles. Thank you, Crystal oh, Castles. Yeah. <laughs> so we've done a few. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so this is Sound Culture. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Good notes, Tim. Mm -hmm. The second half is amazing. Why? I don't know why I wrote that. <laughs> I love this album so much. <laughs> so much that I just left a generic comment with the second half. <laughs> All right, let's just do this beginning. Um, on the count of three, two, one. <laughs>